Hi guys, welcome back to the RC Store and my name's Ammo. Guys, in this video, we've got the Yikong YK4083. Now, if you haven't seen the in-depth unboxing video for this, guys, be sure to check it out. I'll leave a link just up in the corner here. Guys, that'll tell you the full specifications on this particular rig. Out the box, this, guys, I was blown away with the quality of this car. Fantastic. I don't understand why a lot of people still ain't got these overseas. I know it's a Chinese brand, etc. But guys, this outpaces in terms of looks and quality a lot of vehicles out there. So guys, in this video, we're going to take this down a trail, see how it goes, and we're going to try some gnarly rock crawling. Now, you know, on the channel, we don't just do normal rock crawling. We actually put them through an intense test and go through terrain that you wouldn't normally go through. But this allows you guys to see what these cars are actually capable of. Guys, without further ado, let's get into this. Guys, we're here on location with our Yikong Bronco. So this is the first run. We're gonna have a couple of trails, a couple of rocks. Let's see how this gets on. I'm joined by Kyle today. Gillen's also out and about. He's brought his crawler along as well. Bit of a bumpy trail section. Let's see how it gets over these rocks. So the are completely open. Yeah. Nice and easy. Should we go over some tree trunks, Kyle? Yeah, let's do the trunks. Ah, nearly. Yeah. Some rubbish on the shell. Let me get myself over. I think it's hitched up on the front. Is this tire just it? No. Caught it. Almost. Ooh, it catches on those in the pocket. Gonna go over this big trunk here. A lot of cars don't make it. The Emo X3 actually made it over this. Let's see if the Bronco does it. Oh, yes. <laughs> is, that, is that fast as over? Yeah. All four wheels on the on the grass yet? They will be. <laughs> there you go, guys. It's done it. Wicked. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, get this rock. rock. Trunk, isn't it? Nice. That actually does really well, don't it, Kyle? Easy work. Yeah. It absolutely ain't that, guys. No issues there whatsoever. The articulation on this is fantastic. And the RTR tires ain't too bad. However, we have got to try it on some rocks. Bit more of a tricky section, guys. Let's see how the Bronco gets over these. Right, so the diffs are completely open. It does that nice and easy. Nice. It absolutely obliterates trails, don't it, Kyle? Yeah, it makes it easy work for them. No issues here whatsoever. Look at that go. Let's try harder route. Nice easy grass work now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, yeah it's got a lot, got a lot of articulation on it. It's a bit more of a gnarly section here. The few rocks. Absolutely aces it. Continuing down the rocky trail. Makes it so easy. Out of our latest purchases so far, I think this is going to be one of the best. What do you think, Kyle? Uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm still liking the emo. You liking the emo? Yeah. Is that because you're being biased? What, because I like it? Yeah. No. I don't work for them. <laughs> <laughs> but you want one? I do want one. Yeah, I'll keep repping you, Emo. Give me one, please. <laughs> this is actually really nice rig, this is. I'm it just... is, but I've had rigs like this. I've got rigs like this. So, for me, it's like... You want something of, different? Yeah, a bit of diversity. It's, it's a bit funny how a lot of people have brought these here in the UK. So we're going to try a couple of tree branches coming around here, or should I say roots. On, nice and easy. This one's a bit steeper. Plenty of turning circle on there. Nice. Thoughts, Kyle? Yeah, easy. Oh, nice. How scale was that? Yeah. What a car. So, guys, I've handed the controller over to Kyle just to see what his thoughts are. As you guys have seen, he prefers the Emo X3 that we ran the other week. And um, I wanted to give him a go on this just to. Let him experience how good this truck actually is. Yeah, let's have a go. <laughs> I have got one in the form of another name, another brand. Which is the Absema Sherpa. Yeah, but mine's the Temp Scale. Temp the Scale. Ape, yeah. Uh, they la Absema launched the Ape Scale a week after I bought my Temp. So. Yeah. <laughs> and guys, I believe they're all based off the Yikong model. Um, but I'm quite surprised not a lot of Yikongs are here in the UK. No, no, it is. Like it's probably say, it's the same car but it, it might be part support etc is the reason why possibly, they're not here if, the other reason might be because they're not licensed vehicles yeah possibly and against uk laws but what a car guys right let's see what kyle's thoughts are on this he's gonna have a quick run guys kyle's taking the controller going over some trail rocks here nice and easy this thing absolutely absorbs everything it always has to be Kyle that knocks it over and gets the first scratches on my cars. Look at him just cheeky laughing away. I swear he does it on purpose. No scratches there. <laughs> Watching it go through here. It makes light work of all of this. I'm actually really, really impressed with this actual rigs and RTR. The tyres are hooking it quite well, but we are going to test them on some bigger rocks in a minute. But this trail is absolutely fantastic. Look at that go. As you guys know on the channel, we do do um, a lot more than just trail crawling. We do try and test these rigs out just to show you guys what's available and how capable they are out the box. And if we decide to play with them, we can show you how capable you can actually make them. So guys, we ran the Emo X3 on here with a bit of sidling and it did struggle slightly and that was due to tyre grip in the centre. I don't know what this is going to be like. It might be too big, might be too top heavy, but we're going to give it a go. Hopefully Kyle doesn't roll it, uh, but we'll see. It's coming down there nice and slowly just to make sure it's got that grip. It is top heavy. As you can see there. However, it's doing it. Now he needs to get that back round to climb up. 
All right, side hill in well, bit of a slide. Can he turn it? Without it going over. That's quite impressive. All right, it's coming round. You can see the tires have started to slip. Now this is where your branded tires come in and where it's worth spending the money. But as RTR tires, I ain't gonna lie, I can't complain so far. They are gripping. It's coming up quite well. Oh, look at that go. Nice. And we have got Gillen here as well with us. And this guy is the King of Crawlers, as you're all aware. He is running his Axial today. Yep, that's the X3, X10-3 Gladiator, the longer wheelbase. That's an awesome rig. We've had that on the channel before, and it has been um, modified since, hasn't it? It has, yeah. It's got the Vitavon aluminium axle housings on it now. Right, which guys. Has a lot more weight to it. I'm not going to spoil one of our videos for you. Um, this will be featured on the channel on a separate video. Be sure to check that out in the future. But, Gillen, what's your thoughts on this Yukon so far? I'm seriously impressed with that side hill and those tyres. That was brilliant. As an RTR, I've yeah. not touched it. It's come straight out of the box. Straight out of the box, box fresh. That is absolutely epic. Epic it, trail rig. It's wicked, isn't yeah, it? Brilliant. And it absorbs absolutely everything. I'm quite impressed. I've been following you along the track and it's just been everything you've thrown at it. It's taken it We're in its stride completely. We're going to try some rocks now. <laughs> Wicked. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> right, guys. Coming down a little section just here. Let's see how well it does. This is where you actually need your tyre grip, to be fair. They need to grip on this or it'll just go. Oh, look at that. Now, I don't know if it's going to make that bit. It needs to back up a bit or it's going to come a different section. It's decided to come lower. See it turn round here. It's actually quite tight, guys. Oh, look at that. Nice. He's actually dropping it lower. See, here the body just catching. That's on the tyres, that is. Oh, is it catching on the tyres? Yeah, the flex on the tyres. It just goes to show you, it articulates really well. <laughs> now, the Emo X3 could not do this as well. And this has just aced it. Oh, look at that, guys. Unreal. Now this is hill siding up here. Look at that angle. Insane. See if it climbs all the way to the top. Doing a good job so far. See it come up here. Nice. It's got good belly clearance. says. <laughs> Jinxed it just there. Carl said he had good belly clearance and it just caught. Nice. Right, we try every RC over these guys. All our crawlers come up this rock. And there's only one, two that have made it. The SCX6 and the Rift. Uh, we're going to give the Bronco a go. See if it gets up this. It is asking a bit much. It's up at the top. No, it's, hitched. it's hitched, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. guys, as you can see, it's hitched on the back bumper just there. That's why I took the bumper. Um, cool. You can remove the bumper, which will make it more capable. However, as it's an RTR, as it's its first run, we're going to leave it as it is. Right, guys, we've got a bit of a uphill trail here with loads of rocks, and we're going to see this come up. This truck articulates fantastic. As a trail rig, it's awesome. And I think it can be a very capable rock crawler with a little bit of money spent on it. Uh, but as an RTR, so far it's done really well. Let's see if he gets up these. Coming round. This bit's quite steep. 
Oh, nice. No issues there. Coming up here, guys. Oh, look at it go. That's awesome. Coming up another gnarly rock, guys. It's a bit steep. Let's see if it does it. And them tyres gripping really well. Oh, nice. Just look at the flex and articulation on this. It's insane. Absolutely awesome. We're down our famous Red Valley. We're going to take this Bronco down here. Let's see how it gets on. It should absolutely eat this alive, to be fair. Look at it come down. Not an issue whatsoever. Nice. So just step back a bit. And it's going to go back up this end. Absolutely aces this. Let's see how it does over the rocks at the top. I thought the tyres were going to be a bit of an issue there, but they're not. Kyle's taken the harder route. Over the top and absolutely nailed it. Bit of a trail run. This is absolutely fantastic, loves these trails, eats them up, unreal. Now this I believe is in first gear, not an issue whatsoever. Look at it, just eat absolutely everything. Guys, what a beast. This car is phenomenal. Out the box, I was lost for words. It handled and performed so well, as you guys seen. Some of Carl's comments were a bit biased. I personally think he loves the Emo X3. He's always wanted one. So he kept referring back to, it's not as good as Emo X3. But personally, guys, the video says it all. I think this outdone the Emo X3. This car, guys, is fantastic. Now, this, I believe, has been a platform for a lot of new releases that a lot of you guys don't know about. Some of you might do. However, when we do unboxings, etc., we will show you the new releases and we will compare them and you guys will see for yourself if they are similar, if they're the same platform and so forth. However, this was an RTR, standard tires, guys, handled well, hitched up well, no complaints from me. This car is fantastic. Guys, if you've enjoyed this content, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to smash that notification button and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.